Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I'd film a bit of a what's in, well, my family pantry, but like my half kind of thing, and fridge. Like these are some of the staples I keep on hand, and yeah, that's what I like to do. So let's get to it. So I know people, a lot of people use the excuse that their family doesn't eat healthy so you know they can't eat healthy and that kind of thing but I want to show you that like there are ways of eating healthy even if your parents or like family don't. Not saying that mine don't but like you know there's different ways that you can do it. So um, in my pantry I have not like just to myself but majority of the food I like to have is in like a section. So. Okay, at the moment it is still a bit messy, but as you can see, like over here is more like my kind of section where the fruits I like to have, and then also down here. So um, I think I'm just gonna go through it, and there's like staples up there as well. So I always like to have quinoa, almonds, bikinis. These are like coconut flakes. They're really good on just anything. Gorgy bellies. Yeah, might just cacao nibs. I talked about them in my last video. Chia seeds. They are great for everything. Linseeds. Um, I don't really use them as much, but they're really good to include in things. Despite this being brown, saying brown rice, it's actually dates. Um, oats. I literally go through so many oats. Rye flour. There's not much there, and I think I'm actually going to swap to buckwheat flour now, but we're just going to use it up. Brown rice. <laughs> Sorry, the labels are mucked up at the moment, but that's brown rice. But we just bought this big five kilogram bag of brown rice, which is going to be so great because, you know, one can never have too much brown rice. Um, spare almond milk that I just used. My protein powder that I'm using at the moment, the Amazonian one, just the raw pepper rice protein. What else? Oh yeah, um, sesame seeds. Um, oh, rye vitas. So these are really, really good if you want like a snack with like hummus or you know that kind of thing. Fine desiccated coconut. I'd rather get shredded, but there was no shredded. These apricots, they're not really, I don't really eat them as much. They're just, uh, apple cider vinegar. Can we just take a moment? Like, you know, this is my bae. <laughs> uh, what else? Oh yeah, okay. So this is also my box here. Now, these are rice cakes, which are always great. And you know, my fave, I don't know if I showed you, rice cakes with this peanut butter, banana, and chia seeds. That is such a great afternoon snack to get you through until dinner. Now, what else do I have? Tahini, normally get unholed, but you know, mistakes happen. <laughs> um, coconut oil, my multivitamins, which you know, I need to get more of. Vitamin C. Um, oh, I have my green tea in there as well. Also some organic coffee. And then also here, I have coconut cream, always handy. Diced tomatoes. And then I literally have a whole thing of chickpeas, five bean mix, and red kidney beans. Oh, also lentils. And then more brown rice. Like, who can never have any? You can't have enough. And these are just like some of the spices I use. Okay. Let's venture out to the fridge. So in the fridge, I like to keep a cold almond milk, you know. Cold almond milk. Not legs. What else? Hummus. Got a lot of hummus. Nudie coconut yogurt. This one is really, really good. One of my favorites. You can get in different flavors, but that one is good. Okay, um, this is going to be part of my butter bowls and that kind of, I'm going to do a vlog on that, making butter bowls. These falafels are so great on the go. 
Um, another thing for great meal prep for school and uni and work. These ones as well. They're just from Coles, which is so great. Um, oh, and then we just have a lot of veggies, some grapes. Got a lot of grape. <laughs> Spinach. Lots of fruit. And yeah. So, oh, and tomatoes. Can't get forget the tomatoes. That's kind of like the staples that I always have um, in my kitchen. Sometimes I'll have rye bread and, oh, I also have frozen raspberries in the freezer. Don't know, show you them because it's self-explanatory. But yeah, that's kind of like staples that I used to make most of my meals. Um, but sometimes I'll make I'll make my own falafels and hummus as well, but at the moment it's just so much easier to just buy the other stuff, especially for starting uni. And yes, I think my next vlog I'm going to make a meal prep one. So I'm going to make a lot of different meal ideas for you guys. And I've also had some requests for um, non, you know, vegan meal ideas. So what I'm going to do is make my normal ones and then give suggestions of other ones, which I think will be helpful for you guys. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this vlog. It's great and random as always. Um, yes, yeah, hope you did enjoy it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel below. And I'll see you guys on Wednesday. Bye.